Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. In one of my last videos, I asked you guys to vote on which 40k army you'd like to see me paint next. And I kind of wanted to do like a unit from it, starting off. And it was between my old Space Marine army, which was Ultramarines, and my old Tau army. And you guys voted for Tau. Um, it was pretty much a big favour of Tau. Um, which I'm really happy about. I haven't seen any of my Tau models for a long time. They've been packed up in a box in the attic. And uh, it's great to see him again. So uh, thanks to everyone for voting for that. Um, the plan is to strip these. I have a six man unit of fire warriors here. Um, that's all I'm going to be doing to start off with. Hopefully then I'll just add more and more onto when I get these guys done. Um, the plan is to strip these and repaint them. Um, I think my paint work now is a lot better than it was back then. Um, as you can kind of see from this guy, it's not the best paint work. I, can surely do a lot better now um, and it's great to see these guys again they've been up there so long I actually forgot they had all these based in blue and half of them aren't even finished just got like the army painter blue spray and I just went over it and I never did any more of it so it's great to see these again um, I got to see some of my uh, oh, what are called? battle suits and I have a lot of crew warriors which I'm not going to repaint them they were done pretty alright and there's just too many I think I have like 30 crew or something like that so um yeah so i'm gonna um throw these in the big tub of nail polish remover that i use to get these done and the color scheme i'm going to go for red i'm going to go for uh what's that guy commander farsight he's like the rebel guy from the tower i always thought he was pretty cool so i'm going to give that guy i'm going to use his colors on him um, as for adding stuff on this, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Once I get these guys finished, I'll probably just, like finish up a 12-man unit of them and then maybe do a battle suit or something like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks to everyone for voting. Um, stay tuned till the end now. I'm just going to strip these and see what it's like then. Uh, how much paint I can get off them. I'm not sure if the army painter's paint is going to come off as easy from the spray, but I don't know. We'll find out now. So, uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, so they're all stripped and they're all ready to go. If any, of you, if any of you guys are curious on how I strip these, I'll put a link to a video I did um, a couple of months ago on how I strip models. Uh, very easy, very quick way of doing it and it always worked perfect for me. Never uh, did any damage to the model. But the only thing is, I can never get the black undercoat that's on these guys to come off. But um, it's, it's fine by me because I'm going to be spraying these guys white anyway and then putting the colours on it. Um, I was looking on, I have two Tau um, Codex books, this guy, the black came off, this guy, I don't even think there was black on it, it could have been white, because the grey came out. I do I do have two um, Tau Codexes, and there's not a whole lot of Farsight stuff in them. You have the Commander Farsight model himself, but there's no all kind of pictures of red fire wires. So I think I'm just going to stick with the classic um, desert, kind of yellowy colour. Um, I always wanted that colour from the start, that's what was the intention of doing when I did start Tau. And I would like to be able to paint a few fires up to a decent paint job with that colour. And I think I'll be able to do that now, so I think I'll just go with the desert yellowy kind of colour effect. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys will uh, follow along with the progress. I get these guys, six of these done, um, and then... I see what I'll do after that. I might just do like a battle suit or something after this, or whatever. Um, there is I only thought of it now actually. Usually with a unit of fire warriors, there is a little drone guy, and um, I must dig them up as well. I do one or two of them to go with the unit. So um, make sure to check out the link below for how to strip your models, and um, leave a comment below what you think of the project, think of how, and uh, do you think I'm making the right decision switching to the desert colors? I think I am. It's like more of a classic tow feel. Um, yeah, it's like going, if you're going to do space screens, it's like doing ultra means it's the colour that you always see. But um, it's the colour that I always wanted as well. So um, leave a comment below, make sure you hit the like button, uh, it's highly appreciated. So um, I'll see you guys in the next update, thanks for watching.